Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to use again my example in my index and aggregate and filter function in Excel because I wanted to fix my data validation in here. As you can see, this is not uh, this is a fixed data validation on our reference and it's not changing. I didn't use a dynamic table and it's not even sorted out. So I'm gonna fix it now. And my first example is to make a neat reference for my data validation sorted out without the zeros, without anything else. It's been updating when you include items and that's the first one. Now the second part is a data validation with uh, an advanced feature that is a search function. So I'm going to include uh, the new uh, formula in Office 365, which is the search function for that. So let me start with the first one, the simple example. So, so in here, I'm going to use my uh, brand here, the list of brand. And the first thing that I will do is to get the unique value. So I'm going to use the unique function in Excel, a new formula for available on Office 365. I'm going to Use this range here for the brand and then the rest of the argument. Let's check it. Uh, that's optional. Let's leave it blank and close it. That's it. Enter. And that's the unique values on that list. Now, the, the second thing is to sort it out. And I'm going to use again a new function, with this, which is the sort. I'm going to write the sort. And again, I just need an array here. All the rest are optional. optional. Let's just leave it blank and close it. Close parenthesis. Enter. And that's it. That's now uh, being sorted into from like A to Z. So let me just put, uh, or let me test it. Uh, let me change it into A. It's now updating here. Control Z. Since this is formatted as table, just uh, let's see if uh, I can add an item here. Let, uh, let me put some Z here. And this is an example. It's now formatted, included in the table. It's, and it appeared here on the list. Now, if I remove that, for example, uh, I deleted, not the column, just the item. I clear the content. It's now on zero. So let me remove this part. You don't want to include that in your uh, data validation later on. So to do that, uh, we're going to use the filter to exclude the zero. So in here, I'm going to use the filter. And my array is basically this array. I wanted to sort this. Uh, I wanted to filter this array. Then I'm going to copy this, comma, my uh, include here, which is technically exclude, is to not include the zero, those that has a zero on it. And then let me just complete this statement with no record because I wanted to avoid the calc uh, error later on and enter. And that's it. The zero here is now removed, even if uh, it's included in here. So that's it. That's finished now. Let me update my data validation here. Go to data tab here and then data validation uh, and choose the list. And then my source here, I'm going to replace it. This is the old source. And just pick the first cell that contains your formula and then put a hashtag on that so that it will include all the spills here, all the spills that it will create. And then OK. And that's it. Let me check it if that's okay. Yes, it's not working. It's a uh, caterpillar design in that order. You can just uh, hide it if you want, if you're doing it in a model, and that's it. And uh, let's move on to the second one with the uh, uh, same thing, data validation, but with the search function. So unhide it. Uh, this is a, a changing cell here. For example, uh, I wanted to search a, a word like cat, which means I wanted to proceed with a caterpillar, but I just uh, type in uh, some letters on that word. So let me make, this a, make it as an example now. And I'm going to write my formula. The first thing is to write the search function. So I'm going to use the search function and new formula as well in Excel uh, in Office 365. And find text. I wanted to find this text comma within what text within this area i want to use this uh, model now not the brand because in the model you have several komatsu when you search in komatsu all the rest will be reflected so you can appreciate it more if uh, this is the example that i will use so i'm gonna enter it the range here i'm gonna use this part and then let me go back to my formula here 
the start name is optional let's leave it blank and then close it now it has a value and a one here i think the one here contains yes uh this uh, item contains this word uh, or this letter so that's one and a value and then let's turn it into a true or false by using an is num function because i see a number in here i wanted to turn that number into a value like a true or false this number i got i have a value in here which is the search and enter it's now a true or false and then the next thing is to filter it filter what i wanted to filter this i uh, wanted to input my filter my array is in, is in here my uh, model in here and then i want to include this uh, is number search because i wanted to include that particular uh, reference in that cell and then uh, if empty let's uh, continue that so that we cannot write it later on and enter and that's it you now got the array of caterpillar in that when for example you you wanted to have some volvo and that's it but uh let me just sort it again it's not sorted out just put some sort function for that just the array and enter that's it it's now uh, sorted out it's now uh okay in my case there's no zero value for that we we'll use uh it's a little different with this example and that's it you can now turn it into a validation for example you wanted to have some loosen in that yes all of those will appear in your reference uh list for your for your data validation now you turn it in to a data validation uh format here for the formatting and then go to data and then data validation uh, choose the list and again choose the first cell that contains your formula put a hashtag to include all the spills and okay then let me check it that's it so let me erase that first it's now uh, contains the list and then yeah when you search for cat all the caterpillar will appear here for volvo sorry for that for volvo uh, it now appears in Komatsu. Uh, that's it. It's an enhanced version of your simple data validation. It's quite more appreciative in terms of using it. It's more for the user. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time. And thanks.